we have come to Snowden in Universe 66. Oh, God. Ooh. I love traveling to each of these different AUs because uh, most of them just look the same. Which is alright with me, but there are some that are very different, but had to come to one that is very fundamentally similar to my world, to my home. <laughs> ah, Snowden, Snowden, Snowden. Honestly, a lovely place in the under. The fact that we even have that we even have snow in the underground is always amazing. Now let's see, where am I going to the there's grill bees, the end over there, and wait. Hello there. Hmm. You know I'll I'll look at that later. So where should I go first? Hmm. Shopping the inn. Uh, you know what? I am kinda hungry. Grillbees must be op has to be open at this moment, so why not just exit go for in? in? Totally doesn't have to deal with that cute little goat that I've seen, but anyways. <laughs> uh, time for something to eat. Huh? Uh, hello oh. there. Girl be in. Kind of oh. famished. Hi, um, this... The diner's not open yet, but you're welcome to stay. Do you need anything? Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, I apologize for coming in when you guys are not open. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just passing through and wanted to get, like, something to chow down on. Oh, uh, no worries. a little worries. bit to drink. Yeah, no worries. Um, what would you like? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Definitely an omelet. Omelet, Dude, huh? ketchup. Omelet and ketchup? Alright. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, would you want anything to drink with that? Hmm, yeah. Uh, an apple martini would definitely do it. Get me started. Hmm. Alright, well. Oof, man. Alright. That, uh, that was honestly very good. Oof. Oh, thank you. I made that all myself. Oh, really? Well, thank you very yeah. much <laughs> for the hospitality, miss. Um, didn't quite get your oh. name. <laughs> how, oh, how rude. My name's Snowbell. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It is very interesting because I don't... Well, I know that this is a new reality and all that, but... I don't remember actually meeting a monster with your likeness or your name, actually. So, and I've been to the underground oh. a long, for a long, long time now. Mm, yeah, I'm sort of new to to Snowden. Um, I um after uh, it's just a not so good experience with the humans. I was able to move down here to Snowden. I guess there's because of differences in every reality, but something some things change and some things stay the same. Um well Well, at the very least you are among your kind. I myself have yeah. lived amongst humans, haven't had too many issues as of late. But then again I keep more of a lower profile than than most monsters would be able to since normally we actually stick out like a sore thumb when it comes to humans. <laughs> I imagine we do, considering considering how how unique we all are <laughs> compared mm. to most humans. Very unique indeed. Oh, by the <laughs> where are my manners? Um my name is Azriel. Azriel? As in as in Prince Asriel from that's Tori Lady <laughs> Toriel's and 
Fine. Nope. Oh, goodness. That would be me. <laughs> oh, I... I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it. It is quite all right, my dear. You didn't... You are fine to just treat me normally because, again, not really bringing too much attention to myself. The last thing I need is for everybody else to freak out when they see me. Oh, no, I... I, I get that. <laughs> wouldn't want wouldn't want to scare scare the rest of the monsters here, so makes sense and that's actually kinda sweet that you're thinking of them. <laughs> well of course, these are my people after all. It's my job to actually basically you know, look after them. Hmm. Yeah, well um... Is there anything else you'd like outside outside of a good meal and a drink? <laughs> hmm. Well, not necessarily because all I wanted to do was well check into the inn, and I was just gonna take a walk around Snowden. You know, get get a feel of everything. This it has been a minute since I've actually been around, so. Went to reconnect you like with me? everything. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything to do since it's still... Well, I did get everything ready, so... If you want, I could try helping you get, a, get readjusted to Snowden. I'd be happy to help and show you around. Really now? Well, how can, of I, course. Say, how can I say no to such an enticing offer? I'm such a lovely young hostess. <laughs> oh, oh, please. It's, it's just me trying to be trying to be nice and, you know, offer mm. my help for anyone. Well, I guess I shall take you up on that offer. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want you want to you want to go and uh, and help and let me help you show you around? Of course. Mm. <laughs> well, all right. Let me just let me just make sure that everything's that everything's locked up and closed. So, mm. I know I don't have to, but you know, it's just a just a tendency of mine. Make sure mm. that everything's right. <laughs> I always feel it's exactly right to be out here, which, hmm, surprise, you're actually, you're way taller than me, funny enough. Oh, I hope that's not, that's, I hope that's not, that doesn't intimidate you or anything, I'd rather not be, <laughs> I'd rather not look scary or threatening. Oh, trust me, it doesn't intimidate me one bit. You may be a little taller than me, but, hmm, I can probably... Hmm. I know I can lift you, so. Yeah, I tend I tend to worry if I if I make people nervous because of how tall I can be compared to most of the residents here in Snowden. Well, I there's no need. I don't actually feel intimidation. Hell, for a while, I was shorter than a lot of people, so I'm used to it. Really? How short were you? Well, I mean, I mean, when I was a kid. <laughs> No, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, we we do tend to be shorter as goats, mm. especially when we're kids. Yes. <laughs> so, mm. dang, how long has it been? Last time I came down here, I only got to look see the outskirts, looking out from the um fall area, but. Mm. Huh. Well, there is some. Um, let's see. Library is here still. <laughs> oh, there's the library. I like to come here from time to time. Of course, all of our knowledges are mostly past events and stuff that you can learn specifically about the human world. Hmm. 
Yeah, I tried to learn. I tried to read into a lot to a lot of that, but I mainly tried to go. But I mainly tried to read into different recipes and stuff from the human world that I can try to replicate here. <laughs> oh my! You sound like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do do I really? I find that kind of flattering. Well, my mom is definitely one who loves to cook and bake and stuff from recipes that she's seen from the human world. So yeah. Oh. Oh wow, we do sound similar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to think of it as a compliment. Right. You wanna head inside to to check any books out? Hmm. I always wondered, now that I can actually, well, hmm, now that I can actually get up and read, I wonder, do we have books on specific topics? Hmm. What books are you looking for? Hmm, I'm more of a, but. Well, when it comes to human history, I want to know what we have based on human ide uh, ideology and religions and religious stuff. Mostly due to the oh, fact this would be... of certain, uh. certain circumstances that have been happening in my life currently. Let's see, there should be something... Maybe... Something here. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Are you okay? I'm very much okay. A little too okay. Um, for this moment. Uh, um. <laughs> the, geez, All I um, say is. Mm, uh, careful there. <laughs> I could have ended up in a compromising position if I wasn't already so strong, so uh, hard on my feet. You know. <laughs> Sorry, I I do have a bit of a clumsy that they do have a bit of a clumsy streak, so It's alright, it's all good. <laughs> um, right, um Well, um I did find a book but um <laughs> right, the books. I did find the ones that you were looking for around here. Yes, you did. Hmm. Not this one. This is a little too... Hmm. Ah, here it is. Oh, hmm. right. Was that oh, the one? Yeah. Yep. I was actually surprised that we hmm. actually have this edition. Uh, there's no chairs or anything, so... That's fine. I will be take it. I just check it out, and I'll take it to go. Well, um, <laughs> well, if you are going to check into the inn, it should be should be over there, and it should be open. So, if you want, um, I'd be happy if you'd like if you like to stay over at my place. I don't mind. I can make you more food while you're reading and learning. You're inviting me to your place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're my, you're a new friend, so it, so I'd like to off, I'd like to offer my house. Well, if you if you ever need it. Well, that is a very very enticing offer there. And, <laughs> is it now? And normally an inn is very basic, but so I could uh, I guess a cozy residence wouldn't be too much. So if you're so willing <laughs> to allow me to come in, how can I say no to that? Oh, <laughs> well, of course I I'd, I'd be willing to. I mean, again, you're a new friend for me, so to me, so I wouldn't mind if you wanted to stay over and I can make you food while you're reading.
So would that be a yes or? That would be definitely a yes. I would love to. <laughs> All right. Mm. Well. Eh. Well, then let's head over. And yes. we could talk on the way more. We can. Mm. Hmm. So. You said that you just came down to Snowden not too long ago, so... Where was it that you've been? Oh, um... Well... Like I've mentioned before, my parents wanted... My parents were the ones that moved us into the human world ever since the... Ever since the fallen humans, um... Um, fell down, and was able to make peace with the humans and and monsters. Right. Yes, and but there's still some there's still some humans that that don't treat us well. And because of what happened with my parents, I had to move down here. It's a lot to get used to when it comes down to because human bird well, humans live many, many centuries without actually knowing of our existence, and then we finally came up to the surface, and, and so a lot of a lot of adjustments need to be happening. But yeah, I do apologize. No, it's all right. I mean, besides, like I, besides, um. I still want to believe that we can get along with humans really well. So I figured, I figured going, going through with what my parents would have wanted, making the best pastry, pastry shop that, that for both monsters and humans would be a great way to help. I do know. Well, I do come a little more but due to the fact that in my where I normally stay at the moment, while there while monsters are not typically seen, there are these like people similar to us that are called Mobians that are hu that the humans that I where I stay at are very used to. So my place is a little more accommodating. So there are places where you you get your wish. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. That does sound like a really tempting offer, actually. Yeah. I wouldn't mind bringing us. Hmm? At some point, maybe I can show you around the Maybe you get you get a good, good feel. Oh. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you don't have to do that, really. Hey. Don't mind. Besides, I like I like bringing people to new places. Hmm. Well, if it's not too much, well, if it's not too much, then I'd be happy to take you up on that offer, Asriel. It's no trouble at all. <laughs> oh, um... Goodness. <laughs> um, well, I'm happy that it's no trouble then. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, we can talk more at my place, so... Why, yes, we can. You lead the way, ma'am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this is, uh... Oh, this is my... This is where I live. Oh, wholesome. Nice place. You say so myself. <laughs> uh, God damn, I missed this arc. I missed looking at this architecture, honestly. 
the house I stay in now is a big ass, well, a big place. So, with, like with a lot of people. Is it mm, different than Definitely not. Here? Because for, for a fact is the fact that we're technically under the sun instead of underground. Ah, right. I imagine. Also, <laughs> also while Snowden is a good place, you guys, the places that actually make Snowden then look very small in comparison, it has a very similar, like, overall like aesthetic to it definitely like mountain ranges and stuff beautiful places that i've been to recently but honestly even though i say that when i come to snow then it always feels a little more at home here well i would imagine so since this is this is the original place where we used to where we used to live for so long so mm -hmm. it makes sense well, that's where I grew okay. up in, I guess. Kinda. Yeah. So... I could... I could understand that feeling of how this feels more... More closer to home, and... Nostalgic, even. Mm. Mm, right, um... So... Hmm... I didn't properly clean the place up, so if you don't mind waiting out here for a bit while I set everything I up. I don't. I don't mind one bit. You sure? Of course. Oh, well, all right then. Well, make yourself at home then, Azriel. Mm -hmm. Besides, there's a place I can go sit at until you finish. Oh, right. Um, well, you sit down there, and I'll try and... I swear, she is way too cute. Although, a little bit... too... friendly to just so happen to offer me a place to stay at her house. She has no idea who or what I am. <laughs> mm, it's honestly cute. But it puts me in a bind. My demon self. What's to come out and snatch her up? But there's a gentle, but the gentlemanly side of me. Well, hmm. I hope I can even the gentleman side of me wants to. Hmm. Take this little opportunity and seduce such a lovely young woman. But. <laughs> I'll keep it together for now. Oh, Azriel, I hope I didn't make you wait too long. You didn't. I waited just a little bit. Ah, well, that's good. Well, everything's set up, so... You wanna enter? Why... Yes, I would like to enter. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so go ahead and lead the way. Right. Well. <laughs> well, you can go in first. 